Hello and welcome to Release Date Rewind. My name is Mark J. Parker and I am a film lover, filmmaker, film celebrator. And normally this is an audio podcast wherever you get your podcasts on your favorite apps. But thanks to Portland Media Center, you are about to watch the video component of this show where I celebrate movie anniversaries with my friends. Each month, I usually talk about two different movies that I love with different friends, and we talk about the making of the movies, trivia, any fun memories associated with them. So I hope you enjoy, because now it's time to rewind. Thousands of years ago, man was satisfied merely to steal an egg from a nest and use it for food. Now he has perfected this process by imprisoning each hen in a separate cage and by scientifically manipulating the lights so that she doesn't fall into the rut of the old 24-hour day. Thus he can induce the bird to reach fantastic heights of egg production. Hitchcock, of course. So Jeff, as I already said, has talked about Psycho on this show with me. His last movie was Psycho two and a half years earlier. The Alfred Hitchcock Hour was a TV show that was currently airing. So, of course, Hitchcock had a few different TV series throughout his career. Screenwriter Evan Hunter. He had worked with Hitchcock uh, previously. He had written Alfred Hitchcock's Mystery Magazine and worked on a previous TV show, Alfred Hitchcock Presents. So they knew each other. You know, good partnership. Evan Hunter was told by Hitchcock to develop new mm -hmm. characters and a more elaborate plot while keeping Daphne's title and concept, of course, of unexplained bird attacks. But yeah, all the, the, the kind of love affair and how Annie, we'll get into Annie, she's sort of in this like little love triangle-ish, you know, all of that was mm -hmm. Evan's, Evan Hunter's doing just to flesh out, uh, you know, more of the story so that it's not only birds attacking that we actually care about these people. Right. Our two leads, Rod Taylor, who we had just mentioned, he had just come off 101 Dalmatians, the famous Disney animated movie. He was a voice in that. And oh. the Time Machine, H.G. Wells, Time Machine. That was a big mm -hmm. movie back in the day. And mm -hmm. Tippi Hedren, our leading lady, our new Marion Crane, our new Janet Lee. Uh, you know how Hitchcock loves those blondes. Um, <laughs> the screen debut, first movie I saw on her IMDb. She had a small, uncredited, maybe it was sort of an extra background player in a movie about 10 years prior but she this was her first speaking role and what a debut honey yes to mm -hmm. be looking <laughs> amazing in the green like stylish uh what would you call that i guess it's like a s s women's suit i don't know it's a skirt yeah, suit I, yeah all i know is that it's something that i've i'm like one year for halloween yes i Jeff. want to wear that yes. costume please and do, i've seen please. that <laughs> You have to. You would look so good in it. I, I was going to say it was Halloween, and I was like, yes, do it. Yeah. I approve. Later this year, yeah. you're tippy. I can't. I just, I've seen other people's versions of it, and I'm like, oh, I just want to do it so bad. Oh, you totally <laughs> could. Get the blonde wig. It could be a little mm -hmm. messy, and you can have like a bird yeah. on your head, right? Oh, yeah. I would love to see it. Please do it. And mm -hmm. wear, wear heels mm -hmm. and have mm -hmm. like blood on your legs and your arms mm -hmm. and all that. Oh, so good. So good. Can't wait. So. Do you feel like, you know, because with Psycho, I forget the exact time. I used to know it. Um, it's probably on our first episode. We probably mentioned it. But, you know, Janet Lee's big murder scene happens around like 30 minutes in, I'd say. Somewhere around there. Now, this movie, we don't get the full-on terrifying, like, proof that these birds are murderous. Uh, when uh, Jessica Tandy walks in on her neighbor's dead body with no eyes. Oh, my God. Terrifying, oh my right? What a moment. That in there. Yeah. Oh, what a moment. And and just the, the quick, like, kind of zoom in on his face. We don't get right. that until one hour into the movie. So what do you think? Does it work for you? Or do you kind of wish we got a little scary a little earlier? What do you think? I think it actually works for me. I, yeah. you know, because I think, well, maybe the get into Bodega Bay, there are some like long cuts, you know, the driving and, yep. and I think the boat scenes probably could have been trimmed just a smidge, mm -hmm. you know, when she's mm -hmm. going out there and it's, you know, it is because there's no dialogue. It feels long because yeah. for a lot of, some of it, there's like no talking. It's just her and the boat rocking back and forth. You're right. Um, right? And I love one of my favorite scenes though you know is when she's coming back and she's like so proud of herself and the the bird just swoops and pecks her and yes you know it's like oh it's the taste a little taste of what's to come so yes. it does work for me 
Mm-hmm. Um, I'm happy with uh, I'm happy with the the length because then it, it just falls after. Well, it, when mom the mom Jessica Tandy meets sees yes. the guy, that's the first time we know that they're dead, right? Or the killers, right? The killer yes, birds. because so what I what I wrote down was so the the peck on on uh, Melanie's yeah. head in the boat that is twenty five minutes in, mm-hmm. and then so that's one, and okay. they even the the women even say you know mm-hmm. oh uh, uh, basically bad things happen in threes right so that's twenty five minutes in the next thing was mm-hmm. right um the bird bangs into Annie's uh, front door when the ladies are you know hanging out at night and that I didn't like oh. the time but yes. then there's that yeah. moment and oh and that's the mm-hmm. that's like. Like such a fun moment mm-hmm. oh my gosh um yeah the bird bangs into the door and he goes who's that at this hour opens the door oh look it's the dead bird <laughs> and um and he says oh poor thing must have gotten lost in the dark right and then melanie goes right. it is it isn't dark annie it's a full moon <laughs> and then the camera just stays there for a while and then we fade but it works for me i make fun but it works for me because you right. know i mean when it's a full moon I mean, there's a lot of light mm-hmm. in that sky. You know, that's one of the reasons why I love where we see. live in in Southern Maine and Kittery, Maine. I mean, where we are, when that moon is full, it is spooky. You see mm-hmm. shadows at night. It is like whoa. So, you know, Melanie's got a point. It's just the way that you know they then they just like freeze. Yeah. You know, Hitchcock's like, okay, say your like, line and then freeze, and we're not going to do anything for a full five <laughs> seconds, and then we'll move on. <laughs> you know, so that's number two. Right. And then number three, mm-hmm. number three bad thing is when we know they are at least vicious. Um, is 53 minutes in at Kathy's birthday party with all the kids playing outside. And then all of a sudden these... Oh, yeah, they get... Yeah, yeah that's when the birds start attacking. Yeah. But not until one hour when uh, the neighbor, Dan... Because I think Lydia is going to Dan's right. house because they're, they're chickens, which we get a little the hint of feed, something. The feed. Yeah, the feed. They are not eating their chicken feed. Something's wrong with the feed, right. you know? So that's when she goes to check on him. He hasn't called her back. And there is eyeless Dan in a messy room with <laughs> dead birds. Oh my gosh, Jeff, that is so scary. I love that is one of my favorite moments in the movie and maybe in just horror movies in general is the reveal of dead Dan. I love it. Right. They they do like a zoom in like a one, two, three, right? Yeah. When mm-hmm. they when it's- they show his his body. Absolutely. Her, it's like, it's, it's not just a smooth zoom. Over. It's like a cut zoom. It's like they're just kind of like cropping mm-hmm. almost, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. And then Jessica, mm-hmm. Tandy, Lydia mm-hmm. just, she can't even scream, right? She's so shook. She just right. drops her purse, gets the hell out of there. Oops, I'm knocking over my microphone. I'm so scared. <laughs> um, uh, I just love that <laughs> scene so much. Jeff. And maybe I love it because I kind of it's not one that you were like when you think of the birds you don't necessarily think of that scene right away right so i kind of forgot mm-hmm, about it mm-hmm, and then once mm-hmm. i realized we're there i'm like oh this part you know so it's a it's a it's a fun surprise even if you've seen it a bunch of times you know well it's it's pretty gory i mean it feels yeah. gory right oh it, yeah for 1963 it, i it's pretty shocking right yeah i mean maybe if we because we you know psycho was in black and white and we didn't really Mm -hmm. the mummy you know mother at the end you know looks like a it looks almost like a fake skeleton but that Mm -hmm. was like oh no is that a really is that really a man with no right (laughs) yeah you're right that's a good point but seeing seeing the blood in color this time because you know in psycho Mm -hmm. it's all black and white and you know honestly there really is very little blood it's it's the blood in the shower but it's watery so it's not as like visceral Mm -hmm. and you know you see Mm -hmm. arbogast the the cop Mm -hmm. get slashed Mm -hmm. in the face which is pretty shocking but here we are seeing like wounds we are seeing bloody wounds you know gouged Mm -hmm. eyes oh my gosh and you know what else makes that so scary and i never Mm. realized it my multiple times watching this movie i realized it on this latest rewatch jeff and i think it is Mm. brilliant Mm. no mute there's no music no score right i'm pretty sure throughout the movie there is no music whereas in psycho i mean the music is you know, what do they say? Like, the city is the fifth character in Sex and the City. In Psycho, the music is the fifth character in Psycho, right? <laughs> so, like, that's just such a big deal. But in The Birds, right. yeah. there's no music. It's it's all just ambient sound or no it's, sound at all, right? Or squawking or like a motorboat or, you know. Yes. Yeah. 
I think that's why, speaking of the motorboat sound, I think that's why you were saying, um, you know, some of the boat stuff, we're really there every second of the way, you know, because there's no mm-hmm. music, at least, to sort of entertain us. We're just hearing that motor, looking at Tippy, <laughs> looking at the house. So there's a little bit of that. I think it could be trimmed down because this movie is longer than Psycho. I looked it up. I think it's about 10 mm-hmm. minutes longer. And, and mm-hmm. at times, you know, I think it all works for me. I enjoy the very rom-com beginning it's very you know screwball rom-com vibe from the olden days and i guess hitchcock wanted that he and the screenwriter evan hunter wanted to kind of do a twist halfway through i guess which it works you know going from pretty light you know this we want to see if this if this couple makes it you know if they become a couple and then all of a sudden whoa Mm -hmm. now we have some real issues so yeah but some of that stuff could be trimmed to touch i think Birds are not aggressive creatures, miss. They bring beauty into the world. Those gulls attack. Impossible. They came in right down the chimney. Why are they doing this? I do love when she gets pelted by the bird and then she's yep. all like, huh, what was me? Um, mm-hmm. I love the gas station scene where it blows oh, up. Yeah. Um, oh, my God. And I love the, like, the, the cut up, like, they, they like, ah, yep. ah. You know, like, they're all looking <laughs> and her mouth is open, but, like, you can tell they're, the camera's still yes. bro- like they could move like they're playing mannequin, you know, but yes, yes. It's so know, it comes off so goofy, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a little because it's like it's almost like someone's looking, you know, and they're supposed to keep looking uh, forward with their mouth open. Uh, but right. I love the gas station gas station scene because you are what you're following the gasoline line. Right. And then you're yeah. watching you know, go piece by piece by piece. Like, oh yep. my God, what's something's gonna happen. Um, so of smart. course I love the, yeah, I love um, the crazy lady scene. You know, oh, I, you're, my gosh. you're the cause of all of this, you know, it's you, you know, and then she gets slapped. Um, oh, I just the slap. love that. I, the, the slaps are the unofficial theme of March with wild things and the birds. I mean, it's, it's pretty perfect. <laughs> but right. let's talk about that scene because I love that you posted it, Jeff. It's so spooky because mm-hmm. she, that woman who I don't think we we get a name from her. She's just sort of like, I looked on IMDb. I think she's just called Hysterical mm-hmm. Mother. She's looking right into mm-hmm. the camera. She's got tears in her mm-hmm. eyes. This is after the blow mm-hmm. up, those explosions, right. that chaos, right? That iconic. And it's so clever before that scene. It is so clever to put Tippi Hedren in a phone booth because she's surrounded by right. glass so we can see everything. She's contained in this little room the birds are breaking the glass there's like Mm -hmm. a horse and buggy or whatever like falling over like it is chaos (laughs) honey right Right. Mm -hmm. and and Mm -hmm. then mitch is able to help her get back in the restaurant but now before this mom who we knew Mm -hmm. earlier did not like the conversation happening or scaring the children we we know Mm -hmm. she's on edge right Mm -hmm. and she wants to get out of there now the guy with the cigar is that the same guy who is going to give the mom and her kids a ride i think that's the same actor is that right uh i think i think so i think yeah i I think you're right yeah they don't make it like super obvious but i'm pretty sure that's him because he was Mm -hmm. just in the in the restaurant with them but so Mm -hmm. he's gone everyone's gone but when our two leads go back into the restaurant they kind of like look it's it's a little weird what do you make of it they kind of like it's very quiet they look around the corner and like all the women are in the hallway hallway. and they're all kind of turned away and then they all slowly turn to them Mm -hmm. what's up with that what i guess were they hiding from the birds in there just thinking like we're we're as safe as possible back there because i'm like what's every i I almost thought okay is is this the line for the bathroom like what's going on back there (laughs) you know well i guess there's no windows in there right you want to stay away from all the windows that's true yeah yeah it was shelter Um, i guess you're right yeah but i i yeah there's just there and you talked about um in the mist that yeah. i will always love a scene where because i feel like they he, hitchcock wanted to make her like religious but like didn't want to yeah. go that route you mm-hmm. know um mm-hmm. but like anytime there's uh, uh people are in a small space you know there's always going to be this, like, I know, religious overtone of like, yeah. you know, we're being punished, you know, like we must be being punished by something. That's why this is, all these bad things are happening. Yeah. Um, I love that they did that in the mist and I love that they did this in the birds. And I yes. thought like she, that's just, I, you know, Tariq and I actually, you know, whenever something bad happens, I'll say, you're the cause of all this. You know, like I, it's one of those like ongoing <laughs> jokes that we, still, oh, I love that so you know, much, that we yeah. do. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, again, was it, what's the expression rent free in your brain? Like that oh, scene yeah. lives rent free in my brain. I am um, so happy. I love that because <laughs> that was another moment where, again, mm -hmm. I didn't think of that right away with the birds. Like once you mm -hmm. posted that, as soon as I mm -hmm. saw her face, I'm like, oh my mm -hmm. God, that lady. That's yeah, right. I yeah, know yeah, her. Yeah. But yeah. she's not like the first thing I think of, you know? Mm -hmm. So that mm -hmm. is so funny that you quote that. She's got... <laughs> She's got such a great monologue. Oh my God. And it's it's just perfectly over the top. It's not mm -hmm. too crazy. She's not she's not yeah. camping it up like Teresa Russell. She's she's <laughs> right. still, you know, pretty natural. But also it comes at such a good time because Greg Greg didn't rewatch it with me in full, but he mm -hmm. was sitting next to me for that moment, for the chaos. Because mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. said, Oh, quick, come over here. You're about to see the explosion. So mm -hmm. he sat down and watched that and then did did watch a little bit of of Crazy Lady monologue. And <laughs> And he had said, it's so funny, it comes at a perfect time, because he said, now, is this where they all kind of think, like, she could be a witch? And I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, my God, you, you're you feeling it. It comes at that right time where you know, like, what would naturally happen in this town? You have this blonde bombshell socialite who people do recognize, right? She right. is actually famous. Right. What? And it's like, yeah, I feel like it makes total sense for after all that craziness. The town is now in flames. I feel like, yeah, people would be like, what are you doing here? Who are you? What are you like? Why are you here? And it's kind of embarrassing. It's like, I came here because I followed this guy. Like, I just <laughs> wanted like, to impress him, you know? It's it's human nature, right? To feel like, all right, what's the the simplest explanation, right? Yeah. And yeah. To th I'm like, well, everything was the same until this woman showed up. So she must have brought the birds here. It must yes. be her fault. Totally. You know? Especially, and you so. know, earlier we were saying like, you know, Lydia, the mom is really eyeing Melanie when she mm -hmm. meets her. I mean, and she's kind of looking at her like, like, I don't know if I like you. I don't, you know, you're kind of witchy. Like, mm -hmm. it's interesting. And I, I think it could have actually been even Suzanne Plachette, who plays Annie, mm -hmm. really staring at her. But I kind of got a queer vibe there for a second. But then we know Annie mm -hmm. used to date Mitch, so maybe not, or you never know. Right. But um, everyone stares at her in different ways, but they, they she, she is the outsider. And I kind of would love, you know, if it ever is remade, a little bit more of questions from people like, so what are you doing here? Like, mm -hmm. where did you come from? Just so right. that people just, because that's just an easy connection to make. Like, here's this strange woman, and why are these strange things happening? You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, she has she has no, uh, she has nothing to do with it. Although, <laughs> remind right. me, Jeff, why yeah. in the beginning, why is she in the pet store? Does she want to get birds for herself or... It's yeah, it's I, I actually thought about that yesterday. I'm like, what? Because mm -hmm. I figure we probably talk about why she's even in there. Yeah. Um, she does she does order birds, right? And they're not gonna be available till the next day. And, yeah. I guess she uh, just wants them just for fun. There's no real meaning. She I cause I was watching and I, I know she's talking to the older lady, but I can't remember like what really brought her in there. I guess I guess it's it's just to show she's just like any normal person. She just wants to get a pet bird or birds. Oh, wait, or you know, yeah. I'm, right. well, I'm, conf I'm I'm confused because yeah, she she calls at the end of that whole interaction, and that's yeah. when she's told that the birds will be ready in a day or two. So I guess she's just hanging around. Right. Um, Those are the birds that she orders for for Mitch, right? The love yeah. birds. Yeah. Right. When she's right. on the phone with uh, the Daily News, who which her dad <laughs> runs. Right. 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 Yes. And then I love how after Melanie slaps her, then mm -hmm. she just sort of like crumples and like turns to Mitch and. <laughs> He just sort of holds her, but like right. she just does this kind of like, oh, I'm exhausted kind of vibe exhausted. from that, you know? <laughs> right. Yeah. It's great. It's great. Um, it's the end of the world. Are the birds going to eat us, Mommy? Get yourselves guns and wipe them off the face of the earth. That would hardly be possible. Mitch, don't! The five continents of the world contain more than a hundred billion birds. Another scene is, yeah. let's see, is the actual scene where she goes upstairs at the very end where she gets really assaulted oh, by and yes. it's like, i not that i think it's funny but i'm like girl why are you going why are you going upstairs to begin with why i know why, are you like oh i'll go check it out let's see mm -hmm. what's scary upstairs and you know she opens up the door and then she sees the birds and of course i love the fact that like she can't get out like all she has to do is like pull the door but i know, you know there's it's so kind of brilliant. And... It's it's funny. Yeah. It, it's sort of accidentally funny, but it's also kind of brilliant. Like she she's mm -hmm. she didn't walk very far into the room, but she literally no, can't. No. She just can't get it open wide enough because she keeps being like 
pelted by these birds, right? <laughs> right, and right. Then, and then when she falls after they've been pecking her so much, which I'm like, mm-hmm. wow, well, she's lucky her eyes weren't pecked out like that old damn. <laughs> uh, once she falls, right? And I mean, that mm-hmm. scene is so good. Well, first of all, let, I'm, 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 go- I'm getting ahead of ourselves. Let's just like walk mm-hmm. through that mm-hmm. moment, okay? So we mm-hmm. know they're back mm-hmm. home. The, the main core family is back home. Annie has, has died. That's a scary sight to see when her body's just like on yep. her steps. Very Scream 5 with, um, mm-hmm. spoiler. Um, right. <laughs> but um, so so we know she's gone. But so the main core family's back home. The birds have attacked. They were breaking the windows and hurting Mitch's hand. They're pecking mm-hmm. through the door, which is super spooky. I love yep. that shot. That's scary. That's mm-hmm. And then after some chaos, poor Mitch is doing all the work. The ladies are just sort of like <laughs> hiding. Uh, Melanie's sort of just like like up against walls, moving around right. slowly. I'm like, at least help get a get him something. I don't get know. A, get a net or something, right? Right, right. Hammer. Maybe, yeah, some sort of weapon or at least like some band-aids or paper towels. I don't know. Um, right. But so so he's done all that and then they and then the birds kind of like what we were saying, this like sort of weird natural timer. They attack and then they and then they subside. Mm-hmm. So then they hear them go away, right? A little bit of time has passed and now this is one thing where there's so much talking earlier in the film that I actually wish once once we're just maybe, I don't know, half an hour, an hour later, we're not really sure. It's just a little bit of time later. They're mm-hmm. still in the living room. People are sleeping mm-hmm. except for Melanie. I do kind of wish that maybe she and the mom or she and Mitch had a little conversation just to kind of make it feel not so like, okay, the birds attack, but then they go away, but then they attack again. You know, like right. spread it out a little touch. That would be something mm-hmm. I would just add in some little conversation about something. Maybe it would be good with her and the mom or I don't know anyway but yeah then she hears that ominous flapping of the wings which is so spooky right Mm -hmm. and I love how Mm -hmm. she grabs this massive flashlight maybe you should have that in your Halloween costume Jeff you should have (laughs) a massive like like arm length flashlight and she grabs it and starts walking and she checks on the lovebirds but it's not them because then she hears it again. Mm-hmm. I thought that was so spooky. Mm-hmm. They're just in their cage. They're the calmest birds around. So lovebirds are not right. affected by whatever plague is going on. FYI, everyone. <laughs> and so she hears it. And I love the shot of the stairs lit up by right. her flashlight. It is mm-hmm. so spooky. It's kind of ghosty, supernatural mm-hmm. looking. And yes, this is probably the most typical horror movie thing in the whole movie is she goes upstairs to investigate. And I kind of wish or wonder, wouldn't it have been interesting if she realizes where's Kathy? And like Kathy was upstairs, like getting something from her room or something. Right. Right. Like like, like a reason beside the, besides the noise. Like why yes. are you going up? Yeah, yeah some other reason yeah. like kathy like oh i'm here i'm just getting my sweater and it's like okay right. well hurry up you know maybe she goes up there and then here's the flapping and then maybe then she opens the door and right. sees that you know it's very edward scissor hands although that hole in the in the roof is huge but this is a big <laughs> hole brought on by these birds oh shit right yeah. and then she uh, she just sort of like reacts to that and flinches and shines the light and the room is full of birds and yes they attack 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 Oh my gosh, brilliant. But yes, so that's when she can't get out of the room, right? The birds are messing with her, getting the door. And then when she falls down, she's basically like becoming unconscious, you know? Mm -hmm. Mitch can't Mm -hmm. even get in because then her body's blocking the door. It's pretty brilliant, right? Yeah, he's got to really like bring that door open because she's right there, right? Yes. Um, And so, but he is able to get her out, but he really drags her, which is another kind of (laughs) creepy sight. Again, kind of accidentally funny, you know, but Mm -hmm. a creepy sight to see how just she's so flimsy and he brings her downstairs. And one of my favorite shots in the whole movie is when she kind of wakes up, you know, on the couch, right? That beautiful shot where we're close on her, but then the camera pulls back and she's looking Mm -hmm. right at us as if we are a bird, you know, Mm -hmm. and she's Mm -hmm. fighting, but it's all just kind of like in her head. She's just, uh, you know, obviously traumatized by what just happened a minute ago. That's a really cool shot. Yeah. Well, and I thought too, when uh, right before they get in the car, they open the door and she's like, no, (laughs) no, you know, like, I'm like, I'm like, like, because again, that's a a genuine reaction after just being almost you know, by all these birds, like, oh, wait, now we're going to go outside, you know, yep. and into the car. And again, Absolutely. such Very a great realistic. moment of suspense. Yes. All mm. those birds, there were so many birds everywhere on the, on the roof, on the tree, on the ground. It's so interesting. Mm-hmm. So I don't know, Jeff, what do you think? What's your theory? Why are they all of a sudden dormant? Like they're still obviously lingering. They're ready for their next attack, but they let Mitch 
walk right past him. Some of them even squawk at him, but they don't get all riled up. So why do you think, what's your theory? I know we don't get, you know, a reason, but what, what's the reason in your mind? Do you have one? It's, it's funny. I don't think I, I've never, I've, it's one of those movies where I, I let it wash over me and not try not to think too hard about it, but maybe mm. as we've been talking about it today, like she, maybe cause they knew she was going to leave. Maybe mm. that she really was the cause, and and, wow. and now that they know that they're gonna leave, she's gonna leave. They'll leave her alone, yeah. or maybe uh, you know they. Everyone loved Mitch, so maybe the birds loved Mitch. I don't know. Like, yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah, maybe honestly, yeah, they know that. Okay, she's basically almost dead. You guys get out of here, right? And they really are there because of her, and this this love story just can't happen guys like you cause destruction mm -hmm. with this romance um <laughs> you know what would have been very hitchcockian and i kind of think a better ending is what if mm. melanie really did die maybe not right away they bring her down to the couch she's struggling to survive she is bloody right and what if she mm -hmm. really does die that would be so dark right she dies in like the last that's really the 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 last five minutes of the whole movie right she almost made it but she, her dumb curiosity killed her so that would have been interesting if it's just mitch and lydia and little sister kathy they're yeah. the ones in the car and they just leave melanie's body to the birds that's kind of spooky right I, I i i think they should I, I actually like i like that a lot i think they could have done i feel like if they do remake that one of those four people will die like yeah it, it's kind of like that that car scene and at the end of uh the mist like where it's they're yes. sitting in the car oh, God. and you know that uh -huh. that's i mean it seems terrible but it's great um yes uh-huh but yeah absolutely i think, I think they could have done one more one more body count where somebody I agree. from that Mm -hmm. You know, maybe mom, maybe mom yeah, gets maybe it. Maybe mom, if not Melanie, maybe mom, not Kathy. Mm -hmm. Kathy can't go. That, Kathy. I mean, no, they I mean, that'd be real dark if they wanted to really shock <laughs> us. You kill the kid, right? That'd be real dark. You see, you see Annie's body, and then they're like, "Where's Kathy?" And then Kathy's like, not far behind. Ooh, you just see like a kid's feet like right. behind the house. It's like, <gasps> you know, that'd be really dark. But um, well, yeah, I could see mom going because mom we know has some interesting stuff going on with the ladies. She no lady is mm -hmm. is you know good enough for her son a little uh right. a little freaky a little weird there she's so obsessed with her mm -hmm. with her boy mitch right that that would be interesting little oedipus. If, yes little oedipus mm -hmm. for sure that'd mm -hmm. be interesting if she got it and maybe dies in like melanie's arms or something you know <laughs> right but i agree there needs there needed to be one more death and i just would love this is why i think this is this could be okay for a remake because i don't i think mm -hmm. you could do new things while keeping the dna mm -hmm. you know nowadays oh my god jeff if we made this movie that <laughs> whole ending scene would be much longer where like we're not it'd be it would be like scream 2 it'd be like scream 6 the yep. ladder the car yep. scene and scream yep. 2 it'd be like okay is kathy gonna make it right or whoever right, the right. order is it's mitch and then it's and then it's kathy and then it's mom and it's like oh right. mom mom's mm -hmm. not gonna make it that would be a, a more drawn out suit because the birds are right there i i am sort of surprised hitchcock didn't want to give us one last ten, like, you know because no. it's tense of course but one last real scare that it's like you know what if there's just a, a single bird made its way in the car and mm -hmm. they have to like kind of like shoot it away without exciting the others yeah right. i feel like there's something there you know yeah and the, the, I, I do like the way just there is no other ending other than they just drive off because like yeah. we really don't know what their fate is right yeah we, they could mm -hmm. be you know the minute they get out they're like whoop, whoop, yeah outside other you know set of birds You're so or right. maybe everything's okay after yeah. that i don't know yeah because we don't know like we were Some saying we don't know fiction. if this is only in bodega bay right it could be everywhere mm -hmm. and they, they don't know that they're coming they're coming <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Next time, there's gonna be a new movie that we'll talk about, so stay tuned. And please follow Release Date Rewind on Instagram for updates. Bye. Bye.